Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PCSX2, Ryu Jinx, Dolphin MMJ, and Vanced. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PS2 emulation on PC with PCSX2. A while back, we mentioned that there was a huge improvement about to hit this emulator, and now that improvement is finally available. The improvement is known as Automatic GS Hardware Fixes, where GS stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or it stands for Graphics Synthesizer, depending on how you want to define it. This improvement is brought to you by the legendary Stenzek, who is the person behind Duck Station. At a high level, this improvement will allow PCSX2 to apply automatic GS hardware fixes on a per-game basis. The end result here is a user experience where you don't really have to tinker around with a whole bunch of settings in order to have games running really well. On top of that, you don't really have to research anymore to find out what settings to tinker with. Everything should more or less be done automatically for you. Now at the time of filming, this new feature is not yet available on the main version of PCSX2. I'm assuming it's going to make its way over there sooner rather than later. But for the time being, you will have to test it out with a nightly build. So I will leave a link to this page in the description below. Once you are here, just make sure you're picking up at least version 172444. Any version after this will include the changes. As a friendly heads up here, this new feature is automatically enabled by default. You don't have to do anything to set it up. If you go to config and then go to graphics settings on this new version, and then go to hacks, you can see manual HW hacks. So if you want to disable this new feature and try things out manually on your own, just click manual HW hacks and then you can go to town here. Next up, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryu Jinx. Now, interestingly enough here, when it comes to Switch emulation on PC, a lot of people talk about Yuzu and Overlook Ryujinx. And I find that very unfortunate. In my opinion here, the absolute best way to have Switch set up on your PC is to have both Yuzu and Ryujinx at your disposal. They're both great emulators and they both work extremely well. If you're having issues with a game in Yuzu, then check it out on Ryujinx and your issue might be solved. If you're having an issue with a game in Ryujinx, check it out on Yuzu and your game might be solved. Honestly here, just check out Ryujinx in general, it's a great emulator. But anyways here, before I get too off topic, Ryujinx has just posted their progress report for February. I'll leave it in the description below, feel free to check it out. We've covered some of this in previous videos, but if we take a look here, Ryujinx has made a lot of progress. It appears as if there's going to be some pretty huge Vulcan improvements coming very soon. It looks like they're working on some things in the background and it's only a short matter of time here before user testing ends up starting. Ryujinx had Pokemon Legends Arceus up and running pretty much at the time of the game's release. Now up and running does not mean perfect. There were some graphical issues and the Ryujinx team has worked really hard behind the scenes to help improve this game. So here was before and uh, here was after when it came to a certain cave rendering. Obviously a ton of improvements. There were some outlines that were showing before and they have fixed them. And interestingly enough here, these improvements are not specific to Vulcan. They are for OpenGL, which is crazy. Vulcan is normally the go-to for your render for Switch games, but seeing improvements to OpenGL is amazing here. And the improvements are not limited to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Games like Paper Mario The Origami King was also improved. And so were games like Monster Hunter Rise as well as Neo. Unreal Engine games also got a whole lot better here thanks to a new fix that reduces stuttering. So here's before and you can see some stuttering going on. And here is after, and the gameplay is a heck of a lot smoother. Behind the scenes, some shaders were fixed in Ryujinx. You might not have noticed any issues whatsoever, and with this fix, you probably will never know of any issues. On top of that, the team at Ryujinx is letting you know here that they're not just focused on AAA games. They're also focused on indie games. They fixed an issue here that affected a game like River City Girls. Now switching gears away from video into audio and Ryujinx has made some improvements there too. Most notably here for Skyward Sword HD. Some high frequency sounds might not sound the best. And there have been some stopgap fixes put in place to help things sound a little bit better until future improvements can be made. Moving on to CPU and trying to keep this at a really high level, the Ryujinx team has made some significant improvements emulating the Switch CPU. There is something here of note I think a lot of Android users will be extremely interested in, and that is thumb support. So Ryujinx states here, 
This is crucial in helping run and develop the new PS Vita Switch compatibility layer. And keeping this at a really high level, there are a few developers there who are theorizing with this compatibility layer, they may be able to translate it over to potentially get the PS Vita to run on Android. Now to level set with you here to not get you too excited and to definitely not set unrealistic expectations. None of this has been confirmed just yet. It's only been theorized. If it does happen, if it does happen, it probably won't happen for quite some time, but I am paying attention to it. But getting back to Ryujings here, and some of these improvements have helped out Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in terms of performance. It's now running a lot better. Now on the GUI level, if you are getting a flickering in your menu system, it should no longer be there with any of the latest updates. And for updating your games, it now pulls the latest game image from the update file as opposed to defaulting to just the regular game image, which may change your thumbnail for a few games. Now there are even more changes here that I didn't go over, so make sure to check out that progress report, I'll leave a link in the description below. Moving on now, and we're talking about Dolphin and Wii emulation on Android with Dolphin Fork Dolphin MMJ. This is not available in the Google Play Store. Dolphin MMJ is geared towards performance, where MMJ stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano. Now this is not the original Dolphin MMJ, this is the recently revived Dolphin MMJ thanks to Gamer64. And this recent update here from Dolphin MMJ seems to incorporate some stuff from Dolphin MMJR2. So looking at these updates in a little bit more detail, and one of the things I'm noting here is ported more MMJ hacks. So if you're looking for greater performance, this might help things out just a little bit. If you're having issues with the performance of the Google Play Store version of Dolphin, maybe check out something like Dolphin MMJ or Dolphin MMJR or even Dolphin MMJR2 and they might help you out. There's no guarantee which one will work best for you. They all perform a little bit differently, and I have done videos on them in the past. Dolphin MMJ seems to be pretty darn active here, so it is worth checking out. Hopefully it works for you if you're testing it out. Last up, we're talking about Vanced, which was an alternative to the YouTube app on Android. It's not an emulator, however, it was really popular with a lot of different people. At a high level here, it basically gave you YouTube Premium features without having to pay for YouTube Premium. Unfortunately, I'm talking about this app in the past tense here because it has been discontinued. So here is the official statement from Vanced. Vanced has been discontinued. In the coming days, the download links on the website will be taken down. We know this is not something you wanted to hear, but it's something we need to do. Thank you all for supporting us over the years. Here are some alternatives to Vanced, and they've got a link to YouTube Premium. So it appears as if Google has stepped in and shut down the service. At the time of filming here though, it appears the links are still active, just probably not for very long. If you already have Vanced, they do state currently installed versions will work just fine until they become outdated in two years or so. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was PCSX2, Ryu Jinx, Dolphin MMJ, or even Vanced. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.